Eh, bueno, ahora estamos con Maurizio Rosa, eh, que viene de la empresa Photocentric, que, eh, con la, la empresa que fabrica estas máquinas de aquí, la, estas impresoras. Hello, Mauricio. Welcome to your to your home control 3D. Hello. Hello. Uh, nice to meet you. So, Mauricio, tell us something about uh, the SLA technology applied to jewelry. Why why is this technology so interesting for this sector? Yeah, uh, I'm, uh, as you told, uh, I mean, uh, from Protocentric, which is a, a chemical uh, company uh, based in UK. So, this printer that we are launching uh, right now is a, a new printer dedicated to the jewelry world. Uh, for the jewelry market, it's uh, really interesting having a, a 3D printer, uh, which is basically uh, to design by a CAD software the first model that once was done by hand uh, by even artists uh, or sculptors. So, it's really difficult to, to get those models and now there are no um, people that are able to do this work and so now you can design by a 3D card software and you have uh, the, the models printed by the 3D printer and the second advantage is a uh, big advantage is, is that uh, you can integrate this way of working into the normal process that jewelers have done for several years the traditional uh, lost wax casting and uh, you can also have a, a mold a silicone mold uh, from the parts built from the printer how much the 3D printer technology reduce the cost for jewelry, for example? Big numbers. Of right? course, it, it depends on how, how much uh, work do you do. Uh, mm -hmm. The more work you do, the more is uh, uh, sparing of money. But I would say that you can reduce even 90%. So you really spend a lot of time uh, uh, doing works, doing uh, uh, patterns. Also, doing the model itself. Yeah, just for, to have the first prototype, if you do it by hand, you can uh, stay also two days, three days, just for one ring. And by card, with the new software that are widely available, you can uh, design also in a few hours. You are saying that we can use uh, the 3D printer both for um, the model, making the, the, model, the, the first pro model, the prototype, yes. and also for doing the, the, the last, replicas, the yes. Product. And uh, there's a third very important advantage, um, and uh, is that you can have a completely control of thickness. So by hand, you can have uh, the minimum thickness, for example, of 0 0.8 millimeters everywhere. Uh, by hand, you will, and in jewelry, it's very important because mm -hmm. uh, silver and gold if you can have a, a ring which uh, the way is half you have half of the cost uh, talking about what uh, you have said uh, i am very curious about the kind of designs that uh, actually the people are doing i mean i mean are yeah. the the users of these printers doing more conventional designs or they are trying to make something different like they this are, kind of design? They are doing the both because it, uh, there are several markets so different. Uh, maybe in China, in India, in Europe, uh, design and uh, what people is asking is quite different. Mm -hmm. So we have both. We have the very traditional design that is still possible, of course, with those uh, machines and software. But the real interesting thing is that the software opens up definitely a new world because you can use generative design and you can use all new software to do something that would be impossible to do by hand. And so whatever you design can be built now. These printers cost around 2,000 pounds. pounds, yes. Yes. Uh, in your experience, what kind of user can uh, use this printer? Or um, there are basically three different uh, users. We have uh, the big factory, manufacturing, uh, or jewelry manufacturing, and uh, they will use mainly to produce lots of rings to cast. Mm -hmm. There is uh, the little bench worker mm -hmm. that will use uh, now and then uh, when he needs to do some rings. Uh, and he, Usually those people doesn't have 
too much time to spend on the model because they also have to deal with customer in their shop. Mm -hmm. So they have to do everything so they can spare time uh, doing this. We call it autonomous. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. Working from your own. Yeah. And there is also a new market of designer because uh, we have also raising just to show, to communicate to customer what you've done because uh, um, people usually is not able to read uh, a 2D drawing, but even a 3D drawing, but they are not able to understand if they like, if it, it's the result that they wanted. Once they have in their hands a ring printed with a resin, they can understand if they like, you can check if the stones uh, fit into the ring, and that you can do before you go all through the process of casting, finishing. So, well, Mauricio, thank you very much for giving us some time for this You're welcome. interview. This is your home, wherever you come to Madrid or we come to UK. Thank you, it was so, very pleasurable. Thank you very much, so hope to see you soon. Thank you. A ver, ¿qué tal? Se nos ve, se nos ve bien, hermoso, aquí. aquí. A ver, un poquillo más para, para allá. Se vean bien las impresoras. Eh, perfecto. ¿Y cómo vas a ponerlo en marcha eso? ¿El qué? Eh, o oh, ya está en marcha. Ya está en marcha. Ah, está en marcha. Esto luego va a tomar falsas o algo, yo qué sé. Ah, vale, Esto, vale. Hay, hay, Eso es muy importante, porque po podemos, podemos... Eh... Un segundo. No te preocupes. O el balón es jugador, los dos no. So, eh... Okay. Okay. So, uh, connecting with that, that, sorry. You definitely couldn't do such design uh, uh, with, by hand. Porque comenzamos. Uh, estoy sudando, me muero, me muero.